Hello everyone and welcome to review number one, Intermediate French for lessons one to three. For those of you that are new to this channel, I use this video as an opportunity to give more background information of the subjects that were mentioned in lesson one to three. And if any of you have any questions, I will be covering it in the review section. Also, it is very important to listen to the review videos for the exams that are to come. So if you plan to take the exams, this information that I'll be covering here will be very important for you to know and you'll definitely need to understand it before taking the exam. In lesson number one, we covered nouns in French. And we went over a list of endings that will help you determine if the noun is masculine or feminine. However, there were exceptions to these endings that I did not cover in the lesson for the nouns. And I will be going over the exceptions and some additions to the endings in this video. So before you, you should see the list of endings and some exceptions. The first endings I will go over will be endings for masculine nouns. Generally, most nouns that end in A-G-E are masculine, but there are always exceptions. By example, une image et la plage are both feminine nouns. Nouns with the ending e, a, u are usually masculine. However, you will also find some nouns with that ending that are feminine. By example, l'eau is a feminine noun but has that ending. Let's move on to some new feminine noun endings that weren't on the previous list. You have U-R-E or A-D-E or U-D-E or O-D-E. An example of a feminine noun with that ending is la nourriture. Un centure. An exception is that some masculine nouns will have this ending. By example, le murmure. Same thing with A-D-E, U-D-E. An example with the feminine noun that has that ending is la salade. An exception, le prélude. T-R-N or S-R-N was on the previous list in lesson one. An exception is en bastion, which is a masculine noun. T with e exantigu, which is a feminine ending, exception to this rule. L'été is a masculine noun with a feminine ending, and also en arrêté. Same ending, but is a masculine noun. Another feminine ending on the previous list was A-N-C-E or E-N-C-E. -E. An exception is le silence, which is a masculine noun. Adjectives. Adjectives were covered in lesson two, and this is just an addition to the information that is there. Uh, an important thing to note is that adjectives, some adjectives, go before and after a noun. Now, if an adjective goes before a masculine noun that has a vowel or an H at the beginning of the word, the adjective, the way it is spelt, must change. Par exemple, beau devient belle 
Nouveau devient nouvelle. Vieux devient vieille. A key thing to note is that the noun must be masculine singular and must have a vowel or H at the beginning of the word. Another thing is that these are the three adjectives that I know of thus far that only changes when they are placed before a masculine singular noun. Now another thing to note about working with adjectives is when de turns into de. This usually happens when a plural adjective is placed before a noun. De turns into de. Par exemple, de belles histoires. And if the adjective is placed after the noun, this rule does not apply. Par exemple, des histoires intéressantes. De remains de. Le verbe avoir. The verb avoir is involved in a lot of expressions in French. In beginner's French, I gave some of the expressions that use the verb avoir. Here is another list that you can know that uses the verb avoir. Avra envie de, to feel like. Avra honte de, to be ashamed of or about. Avra l'habitude de, to be used to. Avra confiance en, to trust. Avra l'air, to seem. Avra de la chance, to be lucky. Avra raison, to be right. Avra le trac, to be afraid or nervous. Avra sommeil, to be sleepy. Avra tort, to be wrong. Vocabulaire. Now we're going to go over some new vocabulary. Starting with the meaning of single, married, or divorce. Célibataire. Marié. Divorcer. Une femme ou un homme au foyer means housewife or house husband. Une mère ou un père célibataire. Single mother or single father. La belle sœur, sister-in-law or stepsister. Le beau frère, brother-in-law or step-brother. La belle mère, mother-in-law or stepmother. Le beau père, father-in-law or stepfather. Un jumeau ou une jumelle, twin. L'aîné, eldest. Le cadet ou la cadette, youngest. Un fils ou une fille unique, only child. Gratter, spoiled. 